In the last session, I had talked about the needles, the parts of the needle. And today, I'll be talking about the needle size. And it's a measurement system. The needle size, that is our um, needle that we use to draw blood. The size, how is it um, measured? And um, how do we go about it? So it's basically in the gauge system. Gauge system is a kind of a measurement system which is used in the uh, old British uh, territories that is for basically in the British iron wire industry and it is a system which really didn't have any, any, any pure standard but it was based on a concept that is if you have a diameter like this and if you have a road or something like that and the road fits into this this uh, hole this hole exactly that means this road we can take as a standard one gauge one gauge so gauge, gauge so that is one now if you take another wire like this with the same uh, i hope it will be the same diameter okay now if you want to put in two of such uh, cylinders through this hole so that two cylinders of equal diameter okay this is supposed to be equal diameter so if this same uh, hole fits in two uh, cylinders of similar diameter then this this cylinder uh, has a two gauge so that means as the gauge uh, number increases the diameter is actually decreasing here to this much in the first one here it is much much less so that is what the system is you have a uh, one uh, standard or what you call as a, a hole through which a particular diameter of a road can go through such that it is called one gauge and then how much ever cylinders or roads that can go through the same uh, hole but each having the same kind of um, diameter so that will be if uh, if it is 22 gauge that means through the same hole 22 cylinders or roads of equal diameter should be able to pass through at a point of time so it should be packed i won't be drawing the whole thing but that is the concept that is here the number is increased again so it is 22 gauge but yet the diameter is much much lesser so a one gauge is much more diametrically larger than a 22 gauge though the number is much more high for 22 so that is the basic concept of the gauge system so if you look into our need we have uh, different kinds of uh, of uh, diameters like we have um, uh, 14 gauge needles uh, or more commonly 16 gauge ne needles with uh, the hub uh, which is gray color the hub is of gray color in a uh, four, 16 gauge then we have um, what do you call the 18 18 gauge 18 gauge it is the hub is basically green color green color hub is for uh, 18 gauge. just to make it green hmm? hub of the needle this is the needle it's supposed to be the needle all right and um, you the pink one pink is 20 gauge then we have the blue blue is 22 gauge so basically if uh, this is a hub of a needle and uh, of course as we already told in the last session there will be a hub uh, then there will be the stem then there will be a bevel etc so this hub of this 20 gauge uh, will be a pink color uh, and so that is what the basic gauge system of needle size is the concept that has to be understood is as the gauge size increases the diameter of the needle decreases so we have thinner and thinner needle as the gauge size increases so basically if you look at a insulin syringe it will be maybe 29 gauge 
uh, means it's very thin, very very thin kind of needle. It is used for subcutaneous uh, in, uh, insulin injection. So that is what the gauge system basically is. So again, just to look at the gauges um, for gray needles, then 18 is for green, 20 is for pink, 22 is for blue, and 24 is for yellow. All right, I'm not going to draw the whole thing, but uh, that is what it is. So uh, yellow will be 24. You just tell uh, here. Yellow will be 24. Then uh, blue, blue hub will be 22 blue hub so that is about the gauge system and uh, this is a very basic thing that we all have to uh, understand so that's it for today thank you